firefighters are going to be here uh, here on scene throughout the night. They're going to be making sure that there aren't any hot spots here at this fire. I want to draw your attention over to the right. As Joseph zooms in, you can see PSE crews who are here. They're digging uh, right over here near the sidewalk. They tell me that what they're doing is making sure they have access to a gas main uh, just in case this heritage building were to collapse. Now we don't expect that to necessarily happen, but PSC wants to make sure that they're covering their bases just in case that does happen. This fire impacted 40 tenants who lived on the second story. There are eight businesses down on the ground floor. This was a very stubborn fire in a nearly 100 year old building. In Auburn's downtown core, I mean, you can just see the huge gray cloud. It's epicenter. It's hard. And now the fire is just spreading and it's just getting worse. Working fire, two alarm, a heritage building. A very old building that will not quit burning. It was a heartbreaking battle playing out before Elizabeth and LaSavia Brown's eyes. We lost everything. We have nothing. They lived in this building, the Heritage Apartments. Fire officials said a dryer caught fire at about three. This couple was inside when it started. And as we evacuate the building, it starts, the fire just starts real small and then it just escalated into what you see here. Firefighters didn't have much of a chance against this 1921 building. It did not need sprinklers because it was grandfathered in when sprinklers became mandatory. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Well, we lost everything today. The Browns say this fire just piles on as they were just getting back on their feet. Um, we were staying in hotels for quite some time. They say they were homeless for eight months. And then we came here and we were living here and now this, so we're homeless again. And this fire fight isn't their only battle. She has an enlarged heart uh, and pulmonary hypertension. And I feel really bad for everybody that works here and, and lives here to see these buildings go up, these businesses go up, it's yeah. heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, but the Browns are just starting to see. Very that you made that. <laughs> Thank you. The heart Auburn has to offer. We did follow up with the Browns and they did get set up with the Red Cross, so they do have a place to stay tonight. No one was injured in this fire. And tonight I talked to Auburn's mayor who says tomorrow morning she'll have information on how you can donate to help the victims. Live in Auburn, I'm Ryan Takeo, King 5 News.